Hello chess lovers, Stornan here and in today's video we're going to analyze a game where white king goes for a walk. Well probably we all have seen Short's immortal game played against Jan Timon and here is another bright example. Moreover, this was played way earlier, you know, back in 1985, uh, six years earlier than Short's game. And the game was played between two Slovakian international masters. On the white side is Robert Tibenski and his opponent is Josef Franzen. Once again, this is a game played in 1985 in Stary Smokovets, which is a town in Slovakia, a town which is popular for its resorts for skiing and hiking. With this being said, now let's go for the game. This game is from 33rd Tatran Cup and Tibenski opened up with d4. Franzen answered with knight f6, c4, e6, g3, d5. Catalan opening is on the board. I really like this line in Queen's Gambit. Usually this light squared bishop is creating lots of problems for black. Queen c2, a6, a4, first white is Stopping any possible advance on the queen side. Bishop d7, knight d5, and now black's light squared bishop is coming to neutralize this beast. Usually in here black is playing bishop c6, but in our game we have knight c6. Knight takes c6, bishop takes c6, and so once again this time we see an exchange on c6. Uh, black managed to get rid of white's light squared bishop, but yeah, did at the cost of weakening his queenside pawn structure. Knight a3 c5, d takes c5, queen h5. Now there can be a threat, for example, knight g4 can be a threat, that's why white played f3. Bishop takes c5, check king g2, knight d5. So far so good, but this knight d5 is a mistake. Better was playing c3. The idea is to weaken white's queenside. You should recapture with a b pawn and then black can play rook a d8. And the thing is that after c3 you can't recapture with the queen because black has this strong knight e4 move and if here then queen takes e2, yeah this is crushing. Black is just doing great, already there are lots of problems in white's camp. If you move back your queen then knight f2 can be played right, this is not good. Yeah, that's why you should recapture with the uh, pawn. But uh, black missed his chance and instead of playing c3, played knight d5 and now will pay a high price for it. There comes e4, knight d3 check, bishop takes e3. So by announcing that check, black like forced white to go for an exchange um, and white happily exchanged the undeveloped piece, you know, not even losing a precious time on his development. There follows rook d7, suddenly like a spring, you know, white pieces are getting opened up and black will now face serious problems. In order to protect the pawn on c7, black played queen c5 and there comes rook a d1, getting control over the d file and demoralizing opponent's position. Rook b8, queen d3, this time white is forming a battery. And a black is like in a Tsuktsavang type position, you know, it's very difficult to find a good continuation for black. Black played h5, which is somehow weakening the king side. And king h3, king h3, the idea is to meet h4 with king takes h4. Rook b7, e5, now white is starting to cement the position. First white is solidifying the position, yes, and then will go for a direct kill. Meanwhile, all black can do is to move his rook from b8 to b4 and king h4. This king h4 is actually an inaccuracy and better is playing queen f3. If you protect the pawn, then this time white can play f5. If here, then queen takes h5 and if he takes f5, then e6 with a destructive attack. If you win the pawn on e6, then this time queen c3 is coming, and yeah, this is not good. This is not good. 
Uh, instead, white played king h4. The problem with this move is that by playing queen c6 and then intruding inside white's camp, uh, black could gain a nice counterplay, you know? Suddenly, black is getting a nice counterplay. It's not like that the king on h5 is placed well. Uh, instead, black played g6, which weakened the dark squares, and there comes king h5 now. King h6 is the threat. How to stop it? You can't play king g7 because uh, your pawn is already pinned and queen takes g6 will follow. Black made another waiting move with his rook, and there comes king h6. Black is like waiting for his div, you know. Rook f c8. Uh, now look, already there is a serious threat hanging in the air. For example, if rook b c8, then can you find the winning line for white? Ready? Uh, queen takes g6 check is winning. If here, then check, and then rook d7 with a mate to follow. That's why black played rook fc8, and yeah, already in this case, queen g6 check is not working. Uh, the f8 square is free, black king can step on it, and yeah, there is no victory. Moreover, now it's black who is winning. Uh, let's go back. After king h6, rook fc8, that's why white chose. A better continuation. Please pause the video and try to find the winning line for white. Ready? Here we go. There comes rook takes f7 check. King takes f7, queen g6 check, king e7 check, king e8, and this time we have knight d6 check. Although it's more accurate to in here to play queen g7 check and go for that knight sacrifice when your queen is on the 7th rank, in this case you can win faster. But ok, the line chosen by Robert Dibensky is also allowing white to win check, queen takes e6 check, king f8, he takes d6, rook b7, black is covering the 7th rank, but the e pawn is just in time and is blocking it. Now check check, make this the threat, right? Black played rook takes d7, rook takes d7, queen b6, but of course white won't allow the exchange. Even this rook d6 is winning, but we have rook f7 check, and then another check, and finally black, black resigned. If king f8, then rook g8 check made. Yeah, this is nice, right? That the pinned queen is supporting the rook, and if king h8, then rook h7 check made. That's why yeah, after rook g7 we have a resignation. Over a very nice king walk by Robert Tibanski, which I hope that you enjoy it a lot. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the mating line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.